Now, scientists at Newcastle University have perfected a fertility technique that could prevent a range of inherited diseases. They've successfully created embryos containing DNA from three people, a man and two women. The technique has the potential to help couples at risk of passing on serious genetic disorders to their children. The research is published in the journal Nature, as our medical correspondent Fergus Walsh reports. A newly fertilised human egg being manipulated in a lab, a microscopic image that has become familiar, but you are looking at something radically different, a new frontier in genetics, because these scientists in Newcastle believe they can actually fix a genetic fault which has caused illness, death and heartache for families down the generations. Like for Edward and his mother, He's severely disabled with a host of health problems, the result of a DNA fault passed on by his mum, Sharon. The same genetic illness meant she endured the death of her six other children, all within days of birth. You can't imagine it happened once, but um, three, four, five, six times. Um, and then to be told, obviously my son's got something it's a disease that causes Edward to have chronic pain in his muscles, which, which makes him scream throughout the night. Um, he doesn't walk now, and he needs full time looking after. The disease is found in these structures, mitochondria. They're the power packs for each cell and have their own DNA. They're passed on through the woman's egg. This research used newly fertilised eggs donated after IVF. The nuclei of the sperm and egg contain all the crucial genes from both parents. These were removed, leaving behind the mother's mitochondria. The nuclei were transferred to another woman's egg, carrying its own mitochondria. The embryo had the parent's genes plus a tiny bit of DNA from a second woman. All we're doing is changing over the power supply. All the key information that makes a person a person or a baby a baby is going to be there. And all we've done is correct this problem with the power supply. None of the 80 embryos they produced was implanted in a woman. But the Newcastle team think they'll be ready to treat couples in about three years. But critics say that must never happen. Parents are seeking to have a child of their own. But what might eventually happen is that they will have to share this child with a third person. In other words, the person providing the egg. I do it. Sharon knows this research comes too late for her, and it would take a ruling from the health secretary before the treatment could be used to help around a thousand other women with the same condition to have a healthy child. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.